allergens! Hey everybody, welcome to Allergies Bites. But tastes good! Carnivore. Today we're doing a bone marrow mayo. Marrow mayo? Yes. And it is going to be really, really good. Um, the thing is, like this, as well as with the butter mayos and the brown butter mayos and stuff, yeah, it gets hard. Okay. When you put it in the fridge, it gets hard. But if you want to make yourself like an egg salad sandwich just after you make your mayonnaise, yeah, it's beautiful. Awesome. So come on in. Let's get her going. Sweet. I've got my bone marrow bones, and uh, some of them don't have much marrow in them. Some of them have a bit more. You need about three or four with really good amounts of marrow in them. Uh, You're going to say mayo, wouldn't you? <laughs> uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to salt them and we're going to put some garlic powder on them. But garlic powder, if you want to, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. Same with salt. I just find that it tastes a lot better when you do. We're going to throw them in a 350 degree oven and then we're going to uh, start Wow, that preparing. oven really turned around, didn't it? Uh, you're so funny. Um, almost, I guess. Almost. Ten short. <laughs> <laughs> One thing is, is I know a lot of people do it at 450 and stuff. Wherever you do it, you do it. I do mine at 350. Yeah. Um, I want some of the fat to come out of the marrow because we're going to use that fat as the grease, oil, whatever, in our mayonnaise. So, uh, so those that use a 450 oven do a complete cycle? <laughs> wow, he's good today. <laughs> okay, so we're going to shove this in and we'll see you right away. Okay, it was in the oven for 55 minutes on 350 and covered and ready? Yep. Voila! Ooh. Check that out. <laughs> Okay, so what we want to do the is... bones! No kidding. You want to take the bones and move them to a plate. And then we're going to take about three or four of the... Come here! Of the bone marrows. Yeah. And we're going to put it in a separate dish. Okay. So that we're going to put that into the mayonnaise. So just poke it out. Pokey pokey? Poke it out. Like I said, some of these don't have... Much or any bone marrow, eh? Yeah. Some of them are just bones? Some of them are just bones. I get the nutrients from the bones then. Oh yeah, and I mean there's, there's still um, fat and meat on the bones. Like this is like from our butcher, right? Yeah. So our... that is uh, what also helps make the bone marrow. If you don't have enough fat from cooking your bones, yeah. you can always use uh, just some like melted tallow or however. Okay, so that's our marrow. We're just going to drain the fat off a little bit. Pour this through the sieve. Clean it out. Yeah. So we're just going to pour the the fat into a measuring cup. You want between three quarters of a cup and half a uh, sorry three quarters of a cup and a cup is what you want. We're going to leave it sit until it cools. You so, want room temperature? Yeah, exactly. That's going to be best, eh? Yeah. Uh, last time I made it, it was too warm and it kind of got really runny. But we'll talk about that one later. So we've been sitting about an hour, hour 15 minutes. Um, you can see how it's cooled. It's starting to uh, get a little thick, thicker. Uh, we've got one egg and one egg yolk. We've got one and a half teaspoons of mustard. Everything's at room temperature? Or close to it. I yeah. usually take it out before I stick the um, stuff in the oven. The bone? The bones in the oven, yeah. yeah. I usually take it out before I stick the bones in the oven and then I just let it sit here and then I feel it's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did you do with the bones, by the way? Oh, bones get put in a bag in the freezer and then when we make... Uh, bone broth? Yeah, then we just use them. Oh, okay. 
uh, one teaspoon of lemon juice and a quarter of a teaspoon Redmond sea salt. Okay, so I'm gonna move that aside for a moment. We're gonna blend this up. And then we're gonna start slowly adding the bone broth? No. The bone marrow. The bone marrow. <laughs> fat. <laughs> Just the fat. The bone marrow gets added a little bit later. Oh, okay. I'm just going to add it slowly. Put that away. Can you pour it? I'm going to put this. Oh, over here. Yeah. And then just keep going and mi mixing it up. You can see that it's getting smoother, looking and thicker. really nice. It's blending together nicely. And we'll be back in a bit. As you can see, my wonderful cordless hand blender, my brand new one, just died. So I had to bring out my good old one. Yeah. And we're still mixing it up. We're using the whole cup. If it f seems to be getting really watery, you can use a little bit less. Okay. But uh, this is still really nice and stiff. So we'll just mix this part up. And look at that. It's thick. It's really thick. It's beautiful. And I got it all over the cord. <laughs> That's why I bought a cordless. I got everything all over everything here. Okay. So. Well, what do you do if it breaks? If can you breaks. use it? Yeah, you can still use it. If your mayonnaise does break... I meant the mayonnaise, not your hand mixer <laughs> and blender. <laughs> yeah, no, if it does break, it's fine. Because when you put it in the fridge, because it is a animal-based fat, it'll mm -hmm. get thick anyways. Okay. And this is delicious on steaks. Or on hamburger, anything like that. So this is our bone marrow. And we're just going to mash it up and then we're going to just stir it in okay and then we're done so if you don't want it all in there you don't have to put it all in put as much in as you feel comfortable with and just stir it around my hand in the way again and this actually, um, I did one a few days ago, and I did it when the fat was too warm. So we stopped taping and we left it. <laughs> when I went back and looked at it, it was thick. So yeah. I'm not sure if you can screw this up, possibly, but I mean, either way, you can still easily eat it, and it's delicious. Yeah. It's edible. <laughs> So you can see this is the one that uh, I made a couple days ago. <laughs> There's not much left. And it is stiff. It is really stiff. But it's like if, butter. Yeah. But if you let it warm up, um, it is better. But it's... I don't let it warm up long enough to see if it goes back to consistency. <laughs> it's you like, eat it that quickly, eh? Yeah. Well, you need it and you take it out and you use it. Yeah. But this is your idea of, of what it looks like after it's been in the fridge. Okay. Okay, so I hope you have enjoyed this video and we'll see you next week. Bye! Bye.